Well, hi, everybody. We're just having so gosh darn much fun out I here know. on the lake. I don't know when I've ever had such a good I time. I don't know when I've ever... I know when I had a good well, time. Well, sure you do, but you forgot it already. <laughs> I don't know when I've ever squinted this much. <laughs> <laughs> We're on Smith Mountain Lake in the beautiful heart of the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, where we very close to where we live. We're in Bedford County and Franklin County. It's real pretty. And a lot of people have been wondering, Laban, uh, about how much money we make doing this show on television. This is our own personal island back here. Right. And uh, Johnson's building an entire island off to the right. You can't see it, but it's there. And uh, that's all a big lie. <laughs> oh, but, but there's so much about us that is. Have you, ever seen, have you ever seen a deck chair with a crank on it? Well, hey, we got the first one in history. Well, and that's the only way we could get Bly on the boat is to crank him in. Do you know what this is? That looks to me like an economy meat grinder. It is. This is a very old timey one that came was head down through my family for at least uh, about six or seven years. Oh. No, it's, it goes back quite a, uh, a fur piece, as well, they say in our part of the woods. And I'm going to make some uh, uh, ground beef sandwiches in a little while. Oh, and what are you doing? Well, I'm going to make a cheesy chicken salad here in in a in a while. Ooh, I got hold of a. Tough piece Looks over like here. Looks like there's a big gristle in it. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to be dicing chicken for a while, so uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Bly, you go ahead and show us uh, how to do one of these extraordinary recipes that you brought with us that can be cooked right out here in the middle of a lake with no, no electricity. No, that's totally incorrect. Oh, no, <laughs> this cannot you've be lied cooked. to me. This cannot be cooked out on a boat of any kind <laughs> unless you want to burn it to the water oh, and, and right. die with well, it. Well, I don't, don't think do that, that baked beans are worth dying over. I don't know about that. No, you. I know. Although I have had a few that have uh -huh. made me, well, never mind. But anyway, we are going to do a baked bean recipe. Now, the object of the game is you're supposed to do this before you get on the boat. Oh. Okay? I mean, we don't have a stove out here. And so I do indeed have standing by some pre-cooked oh. baked beans. But I'm going to show you, this is a simple recipe that was... Holy cow! Oh, my heavens! It's a... Incredible! Our taxpayers' Woo. dollars at work. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's trying to bomb my beans. <laughs> this was sent in by Mrs. C.L. Rector of Freeze, Virginia. Oh. Is that how you pronounce that? Freeze? Yeah, Freeze. And this well, is a it's big freeze in, freeze in the wintertime and fries in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing you do is you start by opening oh, two good cans. Grief. Everybody's got to get into the act. You start by opening two cans, not very friendly people. They didn't throw up their hands. Well, they threw up something else. But they that one woman did cooking. throw it up in our faces, <laughs> how ugly we are. So we got to open up a can of pinto beans. And yeah, I've never seen the, quite this recipe before. It's a little bit unusual. I, I was a little suspicious of it. It didn't tell you whether you were supposed to drain them or not, so I assume you're not. So we won't. I'm going to put that in there. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, indeed. Oh, where's the drama mean? <laughs> I want to tell you that this is some ride out here. Well, what has happened is some fools have just gone by full throttle and they have thrown us in their wake. Uh huh. <laughs> and they're, well, they they're going to need a wake. I was going to say we're going to need a wake before this is over if they don't stop doing that. Then we open up some pork and beans. And I promise you, these are the last cans I'm going to open for this recipe, but that's what it calls for. We do have the can lady who gets real haughty every time we open a can, but sometimes you have to. I mean, I don't know where you find fresh pork and beans, do you? Fresh pork and beans? Think of that. Uh, Think yeah, about I, that I, just I'm, a little bit. I'm, I'm running it through my memory. And bank, always right? mash your can so the cats don't get their heads in them. <laughs> that's what they used to tell me when I was growing up. That's true. Now, the next thing we got, you never heard that? No. We need a little daub of uh, brown sugar. And if you start singing that stupid song again, one brown. tablespoonful, here it goes, one <laughs> tablespoonful of it. I have been watching some of our old shows, and every time I mention brown sugar, Johnson does the same thing over and over and over again. He tells about me talking about my putting out people's eyes, but he sings brown sugar every time I, <laughs> it's true. Oh my heavens, someone has left a lot. Oh my heavens, a soda pop down there. Okay, now the next thing, we, we need a tablespoon of mustard. If I, I didn't have, know Anheuser-Busch made a soda pop. If I, <laughs> if I have remembered everything on this, it will just be a major miracle of electronics. 
and we're going to put a dollop of that in there. I believe that's a little bit more than what was called for. Well, you mean it called for more than a dollop? We won't quibble among friends. And then the oh, what did I do that for? Mm. Oh, excuse me, I just licked it off my finger. Mm. <sighs> now we got to take an onion. Uh huh. I guess this is permissible on the lake. Isn't well, it's it? biodegradable, and the sure fish have been asking for it. Well, yeah, they... the fish just love onions. A lot of you didn't know that, probably. It's an unusual type of fish. And I'm going to chop up an onion if I can ever get it open. There we go. And sometimes, like when you're out doing this sort of stuff, you just have to improvise. So you got to do it this way. We don't have a chopping block out here today. <clears throat> so you just cut it this way. Oh, you have a chopping block? Yeah. Well, I'll swear to goodness. Judson's remembered everything today that he was supposed to. And we're just going to chop up the greatest portion of an onion. You don't have to put it all in there. Anybody can make baked beans. This is one of the simplest recipes we've done in a long time. Well, not anybody, I guess. But most that woman mind. out in Culpeper, Virginia, can't make it. And then we're going to take a, this is the, oh, look at that. It has oh, an unusual no, growth. no, you've got a freak pepper. Let's a take that thing out on with the fair circuit next on it. summer. That's a cheesy Some looking kind of pepper a, I've well, ever look seen. look at that thing. That thing's got a tumor on it. <laughs> it is. It's a, a tumorous. tumor. It is a tumorous <laughs> pepper. I swear, that's the gnarliest looking thing I've ever seen. I've only got to use half of this. Well, now, wait a minute. The fish might like that. I reckon. Anyway, oh, I'm just gonna. People are gonna write in about the way you're carrying on. <laughs> what am I carrying? I'm just throwing some stuff out to the fish, and we're gonna chop that up. A little bit of just a, a green pepper. That's gonna take a little bit. Back to Laban. Well, lo thank you so much. What I, are you doing? I'm <laughs> chopping up stuff too. Now I've got two cups of chopped cooked uh, chicken over here, and now I gotta have a cup of chopped cheddar little diced cheddar for this salad. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm dicing my cheddar. What Back would, to Larry. What would we do? <laughs> oh, I swear to goodness. Well, we have to say that because the crew was giving us a lot of grief earlier today that we uh, went too fast and they were having a hard time keeping up. Well, I'm just chopping up some of this. I'll be honest with you, I don't like green pepper in my baked beans. Oh, uh, no. CL, now it comes out. CL, but for you, I'm doing this. We'll see. I haven't tasted the final product oh, yet. Well, I'm afraid to, but I'm going to. Well, I know. you're going to drive me home. <laughs> <laughs> Judging for my, well, never mind. It got well, real frisky know, over here before we got on the air. The beans just <laughs> have a That's the greatest to play that. Okay, we're just going right along Digestive with cycles. Oh, you know what I've left out? What? I also the beans. need some catsup, and I forgot oh. about that. That goes And you brought it with too. you. I see it. I did. On. I brought it with me. I'm tired of chopping it. Catsup. That's the good thing about doing this stuff out on the boat. When you get tired of stuff, you just throw it overboard. Oh, how oh. rude. Oh. <laughs> All right, there, that what goes. a rude sound. <laughs> it was like Wilkins' seat a while ago. <laughs> It was leaking water yeah, out. They'll, now, they'll have to meet Captain Wilkins. Oh, I know. We end. have to bring Captain Wilkins on. Nobody knows we're going to do that yet, but we are. <laughs> Where's he going to go? He's, he's oh, sitting back there behind the camera. He can sit over here on the, tra uh, the can the, you, well, the, you know, the You know, we have receptor. frequently mentioned the evil Wilkins. Uh, this is him. <laughs> he is here today, and we'd like to thank, oh, I got beans down my shoe. I hate that when that happens. <laughs> And we'd like to thank him because he was kind enough to, to allow us to use his boat today on this weekday afternoon. And boy, is his boss mad. He has skipped out of work. Uh -huh. Again. You know, this looks just a tad little yellow to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have overdone the mustard just I a little bit. I think you did too. But hey, I love it snappy. I don't like it sweet. I really don't. I'd rather have too much mustard in it than too much brown sugar in it. Oh, brown sugar. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Would you leave me alone with that? What else? Oh, so when you get finished with that, you put a little salt and pepper. She says, I assume that CL is a she. Yeah, I don't really I reckon, know that for a fact. She says you could add salt and pepper, but I don't like it. Oh, well, I don't well, care whether you like it. Tell us about it. We'll just put a little salt, in, just a little tiny bit, but I do love lots of pepper in my baked beans, so go at it. One time, Gertrude. So. Now look at that. It looks like too much, but it's not. I'll swear it's not. You ought to be able to see mustard. Uh, ought to be able to see uh, what's it called? <laughs> Ground pepper. 
when you uh, put it out on the plate. Those are good baked beans. Well, it's real interesting. And then the final thing that you do to this is you bring along your own bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have some that's been kept on ice all day and you take about four strips of bacon and you put it across the top of it. Except I think this needs to be cut because of the size of my bowl. So I'm gonna slice it here and just put that across the top. That's part of the secret of it. Now I know Wilkins doesn't think that's part of the secret because he doesn't like it that much, does he? But this is sort of an old timey recipe, I guess, where they use bacon and such. Mm -hmm. So you just put those strips across it and you bake it at 350 degrees uh, until the bacon is good and crisp on the top, probably about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, until something like done. that, until it's yeah, done, real good in done. other words, and all of the flavors have a chance to go through it. And that's that. And I'll show you the finished product in a little while, although we didn't bake it here right. on the ship. Oh, no, no, we, we don't have a solar-powered uh, oven here convection oven here Now I will be doing Phaedra. ground beef sandwiches in a few minutes, but I have a lot of preparatory work, so okay, I'm well going to turn it ahead. over to Mr. Johnson at this point. Well now, I've got my uh, two cups of chicken and my one cup of cheddar cheese, and I'm going to put this over here on the floor because I've got to do some other things in this bowl right here. Uh, I'm going to add a third of a cup, oh no, of mayonnaise, sealed of fryer protection. Sealed with a kiss. I would love to invent the man, or meet the man that invented shrink wrap around the tops of stuff. I thought you wanted to invent the man there for a minute. I've got to tell you, it's already been done. Now, you got to have a third, of, a third of a cup of mayonnaise, which would be real good if I could get a spoon down in there. <laughs> That's good planning, Johnson. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing you got to remember is your spoon has to fit the hole. Wait a minute, I got one that will. Oh, okay. Well, see, I knew you'd come through. <laughs> Cucumber salad, that was another show. <laughs> beef salad, yeah. All right, now there's I'm a so confused. third of a cup of mayo, and this won't go bad because we'll put it back in our freezer with our sodas. Huh. All right, now we got to have two tablespoons of chopped onion to go in here, so that right there should be about two tablespoons and we will chop it up. Oh me. If ever there was a time we should have pre-chopped. If uh, ever there was a witch that was. This is a little on the tough side sitting down cooking but it had to be done. It had to, to be, be done. done. It had to be done. Most low down beef I've ever seen in my life. Well, I know. I couldn't believe you got canned beef. Well, I had to. I wasn't going to cook any up last. My kitchen was down last I thought night. You were going I couldn't to... cook off any beef. I thought you were going to the deli and get a nah. hunk of roast beef. Nah. Uh, okay. I'm yeah. going to show you how good you can do with how little. That's what this oh. show is supposed to be about. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. That's Instead wrong. of buying $20 pieces of beef that's been pre-cooked. I'll show you how to All do right. it this way. Now, here's some chopped onion, and I've got to have two tablespoons full of it, so that's about, and let's put a little bit more in because we like onion, and we're all friends here. Now, I've got to have a little bit of parsley, and this is flat Italian parsley. Excuse me. And it has been washed. What are you laughing at? And what are you doing? Oh. I was just throwing some stuff overboard. And I'm gonna chop up this uh, flat Italian parsley that it's got some flavor to it as opposed to that curly Q stuff, which is sort of designer decorator parsley. All right, there we go. That's enough of that. Ugh. I should certainly think so. Oh, there goes somebody else in a boat over there. Ah, uh, now let's see. I gotta have some lemon juice. I gotta have a teaspoon work. of lemon juice. Why don't you show them that mess well, you've got there? What does it look like? What? Yeah. 
Oh, it's just, it's getting there. Yeah, sure, in a minute. Ugh. Okay, that's a, at least a teaspoon. Oh, such a, now I need a little bit of salt. And eh, I'll just put just a, about a half a teaspoon of salt in here. Now I gotta put a little pepper into this. This pepper goes in. If I can find the right thing to, all right. And we need about an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. And now we need to mix all of this up. This is the salad dressing for our cheesy chicken salad. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be, ooh, it just flew all over me. All right, now. Sort of flies in your face uh -huh. sometimes. Here we go. Now this all goes. do with anything. And now <laughs> <laughs> throw it overboard. I have discovered No, no, I'm not doing it. The I've discovered the perfect will... answer. <laughs> throw it overboard. Oh, I know all those environmental I remember a time we used to throw Johnson overboard and uh -huh. everyone thought it was real funny. I'm having a terrible time. Well, it's this is oh, I'll tell you this is not easy. I'm trying to get the rest of my dressing out of this little Pan, while Larry is grinding away over there for uh, who laid the rail. Yes, I am. I've got uh, beef going over here that's been pre-cooked. And I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, pre-cooked beef doesn't look very pretty the next day. It's got fat in it and all sorts of stuff. But I'm running it through here. Now well, it's gotten kind of crazy on me and doesn't want to go in. And I'm just grinding it here. But it's looking real pretty. Well, my chicken salad, I think it has come along very well, and this is it. It's cheesy chicken salad, and <laughs> and there it is. And Excuse I think me. we ought to let you go back over to Mr. Misery and uh, <laughs> let him. Uh, that was all that pepper that he loaded up. Help, uh, let let him show you this old family recipe. Yeah, this old That's why family. There's hardly anybody left in his family. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe that. Well, what I'm doing is I'm trying to fish out some fairly decent fish out, get it? Some oh. fairly decent uh, pieces of beef here. Decent. Decent. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my voice. But anyway, I'm getting some, picking out some of the bigger pieces of beef and putting it in here. It does look real yummy, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you don't have you to see this. You reckon a gaucho rode that at one time? <laughs> This is gonna be the last of it because I'm not gonna mess with this anymore. I'm getting it all over my pants. Excuse me. Those are new pants too, aren't they? Well, they were, but they don't look like it anymore after today. Well, this stuff is just coming right through. You see, it's just lovely. It's real pretty. It really is. It's just coming right through, but right now I need to poke it down in there a little bit more. Everybody used to live in mortal fear that the kids would get their fingers caught in one of these things. When I was growing up, two seasons used to say, now stay away from there. So I kept my fingers out of these things, but unfortunately one day I was working with a one of those egg uh, slicers uh -huh. and sliced the entire end of my nose off when I was a little boy. That's a true story. Well, I thought you looked like you'd had reconstructive surgery on parts of your body. <laughs> Okay, now that's the worst part of it. You're telling us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's never very pretty to see someone do beef, and there's not much I can do about it. Now, what you do gotta beef, do, do, be do, 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 is get rid of that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hope this stuff doesn't drip all over everything. I'm gonna put that down there. Now, we'll just take a little bit of... Do, be, do, be, do. Oh, no, Johnson the worst that could happen. You, ah, you're sealed for somebody's protection. Excuse me. Well, that didn't work. There we go. Now I take just a little bit of salad dressing and put that in there, a dollop of it or so. You can just have to play around with this a little bit until you get the right combination. And some sweet, 
sweet patootie. So, this is such a convenient show. This is about to wear me out. Wear who out? <laughs> Oh, I'm just well, I think you got enough everything. pickles in there for half a conscious <laughs> army. <laughs> well, that's going to be a right spurt. There's more beef there than you think it is. So mix that all up. Where's the beef? <laughs> there we go. Now we've got ourselves a nice beef salad. And we'll make some sandwiches. And I happen to bring along some sandwich bread. Or actually some bread, not necessarily sandwich bread, but anyway. Mm. And we'll make ourselves up a couple of sandwiches. Now we're going to feed all this to Wilkins when we're finished. Uh-huh, every bit of it. Lucky him. Yep. Because he never does, he never thinks we can cook. <laughs> we can. I promise you. There. Used to make these at all, for all the church socials. Uh-huh. You always got beef sandwiches and pimento cheese sandwiches. Those are the only two things anybody ever knew how to make out in the country. As far as sandwiches were concerned, I mean, you never got, you never went to a church social and got like a Reuben <laughs> or anything like that, you know. Oh, wait a minute, here. It was always, thank you. You're oh, right. that's going to be good, and you know it is. I'm going to make one for you, Johnson. Oh, goody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it is a good recipe, and what could be wrong with it? It's just cooked Well, you want me to go through the catalog? <laughs> <laughs> here, here's yours. Did you see that? It bounced twice. It did. Uh huh. I'm going to make one for Wilkins. <laughs> well, oh, let I, me get a plate out I know for that him. he wants yes. one real bad. Yeah. I can just uh -huh. tell that I he's just bucking at the bit to have one of these. His uh, mouth no, is like positively so twitching over there. With they it. make these things all the time. It's quite delicious, quite good. <laughs> now, I'm going to make sure he doesn't get any of this uh, pork here, but I am going to see that, whoops, that he gets some of the beans also. Come out here, Wilkins. Can we get him out here? Uh -huh. You reckon he'll come out? I don't know. I don't know whether he can. <laughs> We're trying to get him ensconced from out of the, or disensconced from the cameras. Do, do you want a... A what? A folk. To dance? A folk. Oh, to fork. The fork. All right. Where is your salad? I want some of that also. Well, just let me handle some of this stuff. And I want it now. <laughs> All That's right. The greatest of plenty, thank you. Now have some no, more. No, 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 it's the greatest of plenty. Can we get? Let me step through your table. We step through the table here, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, the Mr. captain of our the boat. Captain of our boat, Mr. Jan Wilkins, who's going to personally come in here, uh, one of our there fellow broadcasters. Go. And yes, get down on your knees and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us what you think of this marvelous meal. Well, now don't be shy. He's afraid to eat it. I'll throw it overboard if I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not permitted. I'm sorry. Well, mm, well, the salad is real lovely, mm -hmm. real cheesy. <laughs> well, the beef salad is real interesting. Mm -hmm. the beans are real beany. Real beany. And oh, not nearly as hot as you said they were going to be. The beans are delicious. You needed to put about a ton of pepper in that. Mm -hmm. These are some of the best beans I've ever had. <laughs> He's not even eating it. You dog, get it and get me in here. Yeah, I just resent it Come so here. much. Come here. <laughs> well, the sandwich is real meaty. It is. <laughs> real soft and squishy. Mmm. Well, yeah. despite the inclement conditions, nothing inclement about these conditions. They're weird. Yeah, that is kind of strange, but that's not bad. We fixed a good meal out of here. Simple food. Mm -hmm. Boat easy food. to do on the boat. Mm -hmm. it's well, simply no, we not really. It. It's not easy to do on the boat. You well, can't do the beans on the boat. Well, that's true, but we're glad that you could be with us today. We wish you were here in person to enjoy Especially my chicken salad, which is really good. Oh, well, Laban, some people are pulling. <laughs> no, they're, here, come for out the, in person they're here. here for the Sunday morning boat service. <laughs> so well, anyway, we're so glad that uh, you I could join us today. I can't think of a today. time that I've sweated more. I mean, had a better time. So, Jan, I think it's time for you to start this boat up. And, and let's get us out of here. <laughs> get on back to civilization. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Goodbye, everybody. We hope you'll come back.